Hello everybody, it's Shadow Slayerx, and we're back with Game Dev Tycoon. So we're gonna research what a custom what it takes for a custom engine. So last time um, we made a bunch of games. Uh, the last game we made was our best one, 7.5 out of 10. The, the ones we did before were like barely passable, if that. Cool. So I think, um, let's see. No, not game history. Okay, cool. So this stuff is for our new engine. So I'm going to research game tutorials, which we have to eventually make. So we're going to research um, the ability to put in tutorials into games because at this time those don't exist. That's the cool part about this game because you're like you're defining games. Uh, let's make a dance simulation. Okay, cool. On the... Oh, <laughs> I was like, Nintendo NES? Wait, and that threw me off. So we have to pay 80000 to acquire the license. We're going to do it. So we're going to call this one Shake Yo Booty. Revolution. No, can't be revolution because it's the first one. It's Shake Your Booty. Of course. So if this flops, we're screwed. The Legendary Bards is off the market. It didn't make as much as the other ones, even though it was like a better game. Those little pluses are so helpful. I used to just go off like, well I think an RPG is this, and I'd be wrong sometimes, according to the game. Yeah, it's a, duh, it's a dance game. Of course you need good sound. Oh man, so many bugs. Give me a tech point, give me a tech point. Five, four, yes. Cool. I'm guessing this button up here, which wasn't the here the last time I played, is um is in case you didn't name it by accident, maybe? I don't know. It's gonna be like dance is horrible on the invent invento. Yeah. Uh oh. He didn't like it. Informed gamer, come on. Of course it's a beautiful game here. Oh no. Star games. You you guys have always been good. All games. Great. Yep. A massive success. Sales numbers have exceeded expectations by far. set a timer in case I forget. Uh, I love the games that come with the TS. Yes, controller is so much better than just a keyboard. Dance and simulation is a great combo. AI seems to be very important. Alright. Let's research this. No, I hate, every time he does that, the bar stops. Can I click on anything? No. Cool. Okay, I'll make a, I gotta make like a winner here. So let's do dungeon, action, no, dungeon, RPG. Uh, for the Nintendo, so we're gonna call this Endgame Fantasy. Man, I am so horrible. Great combo! Of course. Wait till I bust out my own custom engine, boys. Um, 
Yeah, story quests are important. I don't think I've ever made a game that did not have bugs. Okay, AI not as important. Level design, huge. Dialogues. World design, humongous. Graphics. Come on, Jacoby. Shake your booties off the market. Yes, that has made the most money for me. Okay, give me a tech point. Recent studies suggest that an increased variety of gaming devices also creates a market for more specialized games. Some platforms become more popular with the younger gamers, while others cater for more mature age groups. Yeah, so... Games didn't used to have their ESRB rating things. Oh crap. Okay, we need a tech point. Yes, I know. Five, four, three, two, one. I wanted a tech point. <sighs> End game fantasy. Oh, yes, Star Games always loves me. Hey, Inform Gamer. Oh, I might get a solid 8 on this. Give me 9, give me 9, 9. Yes, all games. You are my favorite. Got 8.25. Vina, another Japanese company, is planning to release a home gaming console on their own. I can't remember if Vina is Sony. No. Vina? Who's Vina? Oh, it's like Sega. Our post-release analysis of Endgame Fantasy is, Engine seems to be not important for this type of game. Platform genre matches, okay. Okay. Um, target audience. That's actually important. It changes this game completely. Now, while well, our best game, now that we have a good game coming up, um, we can make a game engine. How much is this going to cost? 150000 to make this game engine. Alright, let's call this one, um... <laughs> um... Using our Silver Surfer engine. Vina has confirmed recent rumors. Yeah. Master system. Mm hmm. Alright, so the, how this works is all that stuff I put money into will up this number. And so. Endgame Fantasy is now off the market. It made me the most money I've ever made. You also get um, research points too while you're building an engine. I should have actually went over the things inside the engine. Whoopsies. I just kind of clicked on everything. There we go. Your new game engine set. Okay, hold on. So we have 2D graphics version 2. Linear stories, which apparently don't exist in my games until now. Um, the ability to save your game. Wow. Well, games, yeah, you didn't used to be able to save your game. You could sit, you could record, like, how far you went, but you couldn't, like, go back to the game. Uh, game tutorials. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Let's develop a new game. So this is new. Um, I think... Young kids... will play... A vocabulary simulation with the Silver Surfer engine. Okay, we made Speak and Spell for Kids. Let's call this Speak and Spell. 
Man, I'm so bad at naming things. A vocabulary, another voc vocab sim game, eh? Let's call this one, um, Clerics Teach Typing. I'm such a stickler for, like, caps. Alright. Bam, we're spending some money on this. Watch this one bomb. Oh crap, I didn't click. <laughs> I didn't apply any of my game engine stuff. I just, oh man. I don't care about the Sega Master System. Okay, we want mono sounds over basic sounds. Okay, give me a design point. Five, four, three, two, I don't care about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn it. So many tech points. Got a new record. It's gonna be like, people on the Nintendo hate spelling games. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, they achieve great balance between technology and design. Informed Gamer loves it. One of the best game hero. Very good. Wow. I want spy. Jeez, we sold over. Oh yeah, we're making money. We got a new genre. Let's generate game report. It's a surprise hit with players. The developer of the Shadow Factory is fairly new to the gaming industry, but we cannot wait for what they will develop next. Yeah, we're gonna make a spy adventure game. Yeah, 50,000 units sold. This is definitely our, our best game. Okay, develop a new game. Let's make this one for everyone. Spy. Genre. Adventure. Apparently a genre matches action. So let's make let's make like a character. Like um Penelope versus Wait, this is a spy thing. I just realized it's not like, it's an action. So like, what was like Mission Impossible? James Bond. Well, it, James Bond games were never called James Bond. Let's call it Silver Eye. I am so original. Yeah, but we're gonna put all the bells and whistles into this spy action game. We're gonna have a great engine, we're gonna have some decent story quests. We're gonna have game tutorials, we're gonna have same game, we're gonna have a linear story. Okay, uh, we're gonna have great level design. You have to have good dialogues. At least I think so. Casual games. Mm. Everyone loves casual games. Clerics teach typing. Oh my god. Oh no, the Gavador 64 is slowly losing market. No. Yep, that's right. More advanced P personal computers, PCs. 
Okay, yep. Great graphics. Need some world design. Man, this game's pretty balanced. Until I said it. No? Give me a tech. One more tech. I'd be very happy. Oh. I could wait longer. Um, no thanks. Alright. Hey, let's actually let's research casual games while we wait. The first reviews for Silver Eye came in. It's bad. Oh god, it's bad. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, well, it wasn't a flop. Should cover its costs, I hope. Oh, I have to get the game link. Oh, yeah. Handheld systems are awesome. I'm gonna have to research a bunch of new topics, though. Generate game report. Yeah, why did Silveride not do as well as Cleric's Teach Typing? You tell me. Yeah, so like the last one, I'll wait till the next Nintendo thing comes out. Spy in action. Oh, yeah. You didn't tell me what was. Oh, God. Movies. Don't have the best uh, choices here. Okay. Alright, let's see what else we can research. Oh my god. Okay, um, let's make one more game for kids. Uh, yeah, sure. Action. Oh, whoops. Um. No, hold on. Just three. Casual. What else? What's casual? Casual hunting game. Obviously, we use Silver Surfer for kids. A casual hunting game for kids. Let's. Hunt unicorns for kids. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll do the game link next time for sure. Uh, it's a casual hunting game, so that shouldn't be that important. I have like nothing for casual. Uh, I'm guessing that's not important. See, I assume that your choices with these sliders are about, like, how many bugs you make. So I feel like the, le the less amount of bugs you make, the better. Like, the better your choices were. At least that's how I see it. I don't know if I'm right, but... Come on, give me tech points. Give me tech points, Jacoby. Tech point, tech point, five, four, three, damn it. Oh, there was marketing. Boo. Yeah, we're leveling up at certain things. Better user experience and level editor. Let's get a better user experience. I think that's a new one, I don't remember that one. Maybe it was there before, I don't know. The first review for a newly <laughs> released game, Let's Hunt Unicorns for Kids, came in. It's beautiful. Thanks. Oh, this is a bad review. I don't know. Good game. Eight, eight, eight. No, it's a seven. This is a seven. A solid seven's okay. I mean, like, 
it's no Gears of War when that first came out. But he's hunting unicorns for kids, come on now. Alright, generate a game report. Come on, two more research points. Yes. Okay. Hunting and casual is a good combination. Level design seems to be very important for this type of game. Okay, real quick, before we end this episode. New topic. Um, horror. Go. Don't scratch your head. I have a sick car. If you have more than one million cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. This might sound like a lot, but don't worry. Once you release a hit game, you'll be it. So this is the Sega Game Gear. Screw that. Game Gear was cool though, when it first came out. Like, don't get me wrong. Oh yeah, we have to do sports. I know that's using all our research, but sports will make us money. Like, we can make sports games. Like, clerics play football. <laughs> eh, that's pretty good. Okay. We're going to end this episode here. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you next time. Peace.